Hello world, welcome to the 31st video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane. This is the sixth video in my Twitter automation playlist. So, so far, um, we're able to post to our Twitter account, thank new followers, follow people that are posting about things that I'm interested in, retweet tweets based off those same interests, unfollow people who are not following me back, and even post random motivational quotes. Finally, in our last video, we were able to find the five trending topics in the US and then post a tweet about one of those topics. I hope you had a chance to watch all those videos. If not, you can see that this one's part of a playlist. So go ahead and watch all of those videos up until now. So in this video, we're going to get new mentions. So when someone writes something with the at B Jones 6, B J O N E 6, which is my Twitter. Uh, we're going to be running, um, so we're going to be able to print that out so we can see when any time somebody mentions us. Now, this is in a while loop, so we have to make sure that we comply with the free Twitter API rates using the time delays. So, you're going to see that as we uh, launch this, um, and I'll show you what the Twitter uh, API rates are. So let's log into my personal finance and economics website's uh, Twitter account. It's called the Financial Genome Project. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to mention me and see when it shows up. So first, let's run this program. It's called the Mention Checker. So we're going to run it, and nothing shows up. So I have no new mentions since the last, you know, 50 times I've been running this script in preparation for this video. So we're going to come up on here. We're going to tweet. We're going to say, at bjones6. Uh, love the content, bro. Okay, let's tweet this out. Now this is me to me. There you go. Your tweet was sent. And there it is already. At the Financial Genome Project mentions you. At B Jones 6. Love the content, bro. Oh, you don't have to say that. That was very nice of you, FinGen Project. All right. So that's how it works. So now there's no new uh, mentions. So it's just going to not do anything and keep running this while loop. Okay, so let's look at the code real quick. So first we're going to create a text file called Twitter Mentions. And that saves all of my Twitter mentions. And what it does is it's going to post the last one. And you'll see how you could do the last five, the last three. It's up to you. But I just did the last one, so I'm never running into the API rate limit. So it says, uh, this. so it ran twice through the while loop. So using that uh, file name, so get new mentions equals true, right? So we want this while loop to be true until we exit out or I create a quit or a false condition. So while get new mentions, which is the same thing as saying while get new mentions equals true, try getting the current mentions. We're going to put it right here in this uh, box, which is called a, uh, oh my gosh, an array, no, 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 a list. Either way, it's one of those. So with this file open, we're going to look at each line. We're going to strip the space, right? This is a new line. And then we're going to append it to this blank um, list or array. Okay, so that's the first step. So what it's doing is it's reading each one and putting it into here. Then with that file open, we're going to A, append for every mention in my, and this is where you're using the Tweepy library, api.mentions.timeline or underscore timeline. I want you to get the last one, the last mention. Now, as I become more popular and all of my adoring fans start adding me and mentioning my name, I'm going to have to increase this count. So then you're going to write 
at dimension.user screen name. Then it's going to attach the string mentioned you, and then it's going to let me know what the mentioned text was, and then a new line. And you can see that here. At Finjen project mentioned you dot at the name, then the text. Okay, and then so then we're going to um, so that's in the new file, right? Then we're going to read it using the same way we read the current mentions. Then we're going to make a set. So everything in the current mentions list is going to be a set. Everything in the new mentions list is going to be a set. And then I'm going to create a whole new list called new mentions list. And so we're going to look at the difference between the two sets and then add it to our new mention list. So for any new mention in this new mention list, we're going to print it out. And then we're going to sleep for 15 seconds. And the reason why this is important is because I have a free, I'm using just the normal free developers um, Twitter API. Tweepy or Tweepy, that is the wrapper around this Twitter API. So as you can see, requests, every all request windows are 15 minutes in length. So if you scroll down to this get, um, I should have made sure I knew where it was, get the statuses of the mentions on my timeline. I am capped at 75 requests every 15 minutes. So I am not that popular yet until everybody's watching this video and finds me. Uh, please follow at bjone6 or follow my economics and personal finance website at FinGen Project. I'll have links to both in the description. So we're just going to run that while loop. We're going to try that and then sleep for 15 seconds. And then we have an accept where it says you've exceeded the API rate limit. So if we do get an error, it's going to yell at me. And then it's going to go through that again. So if you try to just implement this one by itself, just copy and paste or, you know, uh, transcribe it, this API will probably error. And that's because you have to set up your API. If you don't know how to do that, go back to my first video. The link will be in the description and make sure you follow through the playlist because this is just me showing off this. All right. So, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please remember to subscribe to my channel if you want to continue watching me build my own digital assistant. Uh, social media management is my least favorite of running a website and um, having this YouTube channel. So if I can automate it, then that's perfect. That's what this playlist, playlist is all about, is showing you the automation of my Twitter. And so like this video if you enjoyed it. Um, all right. Goodbye, world.